create a new document make sure you have only fill only stroke and no fill selected center the document by pressing ctrl 0 press l on your keyboard to make a select the ellipse tool and make a circle of 300 pixels center it holding shift and alt on your keyboard make a copy until you see the intersect line press b to go to the select tool and change the size of the new circle by 4 to 450 pixels press r on your keyboard to select the select uh, rotate tool and with the center of the in a smaller circle press control click there and hit 90 and hit copy now press control d to repeat it now select the smaller circle and decrease its size by, by 250 now again you have to select the ellipse tool and make a new circle of 750 pixels this will depend on your design so these dimensions are to my my design so if you want to make it smaller or bigger you have to do it accordingly select the ellipse tool and at this center section point holding shift and alt draw out a circle so that it touches the outer circle make sure you get this right use the zoom tool and with the selection tool change the size accordingly you can also go to um, outline mode by pressing ctrl y to see try to get it as precise as possible This will help later in the design. Once you are satisfied, again press Ctrl Y to go back to, uh, to go back from outline mode. And hit Ctrl 0 to go back to a view mode. shift hold press r to select the rotate tool and the center of the design make a 90 degree rotation and hit ctrl d to repeat it now select everything go to the stroke stroke option and make a 20 degree stroke weight you can also play around with the stroke option to get different effects go to object path outline stroke and she hit this arrow and it will shift the flip the stroke and fill now you need just select the outline outside circle and increase its size so it's just touching the other circle again use the zoom tool to make it as precise as possible use control y to go to outline mode Now select everything, pressing shift and alt on your keyboard, go to the corner and increase the size of the design. This will make working on the design a lot easier. We can obviously let us shift, down shift it and decrease the size according to your needs. Now we are going to use the shape builder tool. Make sure you have everything selected and use the shape builder tool now unite paths you need and if you want to keep this transparent without a white background you need to de delete the parts you don't need so after you have united them you can see there is a plus sign now that's when you're uniting when you are going to delete you have to press alt on your keyboard and the plus changes to a minus and start deleting the parts If you make a mistake, hit Ctrl Z on your keyboard to go back and redo it. The number of redos you, you, you can do can be 
adjust it from your edit menu so you can have fixed number of videos available to you you might need to change that according to your needs you need to go to your illustrator preference and change it see I made a small error here so actually thought of using the pen tool to correct it but I found that using the control Z option to go back is a lot easier use whatever works better for you small part where I've missed so while I'm going to color it check it take it to a neutral background to see you have deleted all the white parts now you're using the use the life paint option to color it again this depends entirely on on you this is my color option again during the coloring option if you make a mistake you can go back with control Z and redo it as you can see that I have missed two parts here I haven't, haven't united them together properly so while using the color option you can do that but you will have to expand the object again and by clicking the expand key option on your on the top of your window once you hit the expand you will be able to use the unite option again unite or the uh, shape builder tool again
now let's put a background behind it you can see if you want to keep the stroke or not i prefer a stroke so i keep the black black stroke use the rectangle tool hold the shift key and make a square behind the um, more uh, square larger than the design you have made change it to a neutral color whatever you want i am using this one center it and go to arrange and center it to back that's your basic design